There is a new pop-up grocery store where you can browse the fully stocked aisles, but you cannot check out any of the items. We're talking about the plastic bag store. And joining us live with the details is the creator, Robin Frohart. Uh, Robin, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, so wh what is the plastic bag store and, and what inspired you to create it? And why can't you buy anything? <laughs> <laughs> so the, the plastic bag store is a fake grocery store. Uh, built inside of a real storefront and everything inside of the grocery store is made from discarded plastic bags or other single-use plastic trash and i was inspired to make it just in my experience at a grocery store watching someone bag and double bag all of my groceries that were already bags inside of plastic containers inside of boxes and I was just sort of overwhelmed by the ridiculous amount of packaging um, that we're using every day. And so I wanted to create a sort of absurd version of this um, where it was a grocery store that only sold packaging. So you had to obviously collect the plastic bags. How much did you use to create this store? A lot, I'm guessing. Yeah, we used close to about 10,000 plastic bags. And I can't even calculate how many like caps and lids and stuff that we have. Uh, but we would collect the bags and sculpt them into fruit or meat. Um, we designed some of our own packaging and then like the box, some of the boxes that you're seeing here. Mm -hmm. And we sh stuffed those with plastic trash and we sculpted the meats and we used old meat trays. Um, and so, yeah, I collected a lot of it just by looking around. I asked um, my neighbors and friends to save things that they were using. Um, and yeah, it was like a whole community effort <laughs> to get all this garbage. But it was surprisingly easy because there is so much of it around. It is so creative. Did you see that? Bits of plastic crap. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, so let's talk about the art installation experience. What, what do, when people come to see this, what, what are they going to be doing? Um, so people can come to the installation and wander around and the aisles and view all the products. There's a lot of text and writing on all the back and ingredient lists. Um, and you can, you know, touch the, the fruits and veggies. Um, but then we also have an immersive film experience. So my background is as a, a, a filmmaker and a theater maker and a puppeteer and animator. So we have a, a film that we show in this immersive environment and all of the shelves and things move to reveal uh, hidden rooms and screens. And we tell this story about sort of the journey of one plastic bag um, into the future. Someone discovers it because plastic doesn't decompose. So all the things that we're leaving behind are gonna be around forever. And so this person in the future discovers a plastic bag and has no idea what it is and what its contents are. And he sort of misinterprets all of its, its items and its, and its significance in our lives, things that we consider trash, he sort of considers holy relics. Robin, the idea is just sort of, yeah. I was, this is, Sorry. go ahead. <laughs> yeah, just sort of give people an idea of the, the, the permanence of the disposable and how things that we use for just seconds might be around for hundreds, maybe thousands of years, and, and people are going to find these things and wonder what they were and why we made so many of them. This is so important, I think, to put out there. Uh, do you have a favorite section? Uh, yeah, my favorite section is brand new, something we just created for this LA installation. It's a whole seafood section. Um, so there is uh, crabs and mussels and lobsters and some salmon and red snapper and all of the ice is made from plastic or, or sorry styrofoam containers that we found and crushed up and all that lettuce of course is um, plastic bags you guessed it <laughs> so this is my new favorite part of the installation it's so very colorful and it was very fun to like uh, come up with new ways to use the material so obviously the message you're trying to get across to people is uh we we, we use way too much plastic styrofoam all the stuff that uh, you really just, it just stays around forever. Yeah, I definitely just trying to raise the public consciousness of, of this issue. You know, these things are designed to be invisible to us. They're designed to come into our lives for just seconds and then we throw them away and then it's like they're gone, but there actually is no way. Plastic doesn't decompose. Um, you know, the straw that you had a milkshake at McDonald's 20 years ago, it might still be somewhere. It probably is. And um, that's just a really 
abstract thought that I think that it's hard for us to think about. So I'm trying to find a, a creative and kind of engaging way to sort of embed these ideas <laughs> into our brains so that we can understand the scope of, mm. of the problem. Well, I think you nailed it. Yeah. Thanks. Pretty amazing, <laughs> right? All right, thank you so much. Uh, this plastic bag store located in the Arts District in downtown LA. You can find out more information and for tickets, you can go to the website there on your screen. Uh, this is uh, open from June 30th, which is today through July 11th. Great thing for, I mean, not only kids. adults, but for kids, yeah, right, Kai? Yeah, I'm thinking spot on. Kids, 100%. Should, should, parents should get their kids down there. That's a really a great idea, definitely.